All right, so we've done the services. Now let's go ahead and create three products for which you carry an inventory. All right, so let's go ahead and do new product and service. Same way that I got to there, I went to my list, products and services. I created a new service. So now I'm going to do an inventoryable item. So those are products that you buy and sell and you keep quantities of. What other requirements do I have? I need to make sure that as of 1 1 2018, I have a thousand items on hand. So here we go. Well, if I am a Dr. Parra's class, then I may have products and services that I sell, such as the software itself. So let's go ahead and do the QuickBooks online software as a service that I may carry an inventory for. Um, or this is called a QuickBooks software. And this is the category of, um, um, let's call this software, software category, because I may want to break down the income statement under software and then some other materials, etc. I don't have a class right now, but I do have a thousand items as of, and you got to be very careful with this because it's, it can mess up your entire set of books and it's really hard to get to that point. So I have a thousand items as of 1 1 2018. So this is the beginning of my fiscal year for 2018. I had a thousand items. And what is the inventory asset account that I'm going to use? So this is basically uh, uh, already pre set up for me. Sales information that would be on my sales form would be uh, software for client, uh, software license for client. And what is going to be my sell price? So in this case, I am going to sell this for, this stood for $300. Even though now it's really more of a subscription-based service. But let's assume that you can buy the software. And the income account will be sales of product income, and that's okay. This is going to be a taxable category. And then I'm going to let QuickBooks decide whether that is indeed a taxable category under California rules. In the case, it's going to be that software in California does not get taxed. You understand that there's a lot of software created in California and it's and 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 they do have enough weight in their legislative process to 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 not have uh, any tax access to that. So sales of software, software license. What do you sell? Is it electronic qualifying software? Yes, because we don't have an actual tangible CD that we're selling with this. We're just going to have the license. Um, under Illinois, So this is under Illinois law, but it's really, it could be also by, by California. Notice that different states have different categories. And you see there's a little typo, but just use software license, electronic qualifying software. Purchasing information, so when we order items from our vendor, then we will want this purchasing information to show up in our POs. And since I'm selling this for $300, the assignment calls for us to have a cost for each one of these items to be exactly half of that. And my expense account has to be the cost of goods sold. Um, what is my preferred vendor? I don't have a preferred vendors right now, so I'm going to leave it blank. So that is it. I went ahead and created the name of the product with my prefix. That's important, the prefix. The category was appropriate. Um, I use an inventory asset. I use my in initial quantity on hand as of this date. That's super critical. You had a price that's whatever you choose, but your cost of goods sold or your cost of that product has to be exactly half of that. Uh, and then you want to make sure that you check this as a taxable item. And then, even if you know that it's not taxable, and then you find the category to uh, categorize this product so that you can determine if that is indeed um, a product that will have sales tax. So let me create a new one as well. Um, the next product that I'll have is a how to install. Uh, it's going to be a QuickBooks book. <laughs> um, and these are going to be uh, training materials, right? That I'm going to sell. I'm going to create a new category. I have a thousand items as of 1 1 2018. 
you want to choose a reordering point so that you can automatically create a purchase order when you drop, when your quantity on hand drops below a point, but don't worry about that for now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is a how to install QuickBooks book and the price, what would be the right price? Well, let's sell it for eh, $100. And of course the cost will be 50 then. Sell so product income, that's correct. And the category will be a publication. What do you sell? It's a book. Um, and then the purchasing information should be the same. How to install a QuickBooks book. 50 cost of goods sold and that's it right so i did inventory asset sales information sales price an income account that is a sales or product income i marked this as a taxable product this is a publication of uh, a category of publications and specifically this is a type of book then i went ahead and chose the cost to be exactly 50 percent, and i wrote down the expense account as cost of goods sold um then i'm going to do a third one and I think that uh, everybody in this, something's not right. Oh, okay. So that's the definition going on. Okay. So I guess I must have not chosen the 2018. All right. Let's do save and new. That's done. All right. Next, uh, since this is Dr. Potter's class, and I think everybody's so happy with the class that everybody want to take souvenirs with them. Uh, and so I am going to, create a new category called um, souvenirs. Let's just say that we had a bunch of those. Um, and then we had once again, 1000 items on hand as of 1118. This is my inventory asset. And then I'm going to call these um, souvenirs for Dr. Parra's class, whatever that is. And um, we gotta, we're going to see that there's $60 Let's go easy on that. Let's do $30, $20. And what is this category? It's just a retail product. Um, that's my dog snoring on the background. What do you sell to souvenirs? So mementos, um, retail. Uh, let's just say that it's just general clothing. Yeah, general clothing is fine. Set their caps or general clothing as well. Boom. Um, cost, if I'm going to sell it at 20, it has to be 10. Cost of goods sold. And that's it. I've created my three products and my three services as well.